brilliant getting carded because they don't believe that you're 55 yet. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's way better than getting carded because they don't believe you're 21 yet. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm a midlife post career Gen Xer who's always looking for ways to make life more interesting and meaningful. I retired at 52. Yes, I'm very lucky. But no, I am not obscenely rich at all. Five years in, and I have noticed five myths about retirement that need to be busted. There's one in particular that drives me absolutely nuts, but we'll get to that later. For context, my husband and I both retired at 52 and 53 at the same time, right in the middle of the pandemic, which made it both easier and more difficult at the same time. But that's a whole different story. We lived a nomadic lifestyle for about three and a half years, spending time in both Mexico and the United States in various places, and finally settled down a little bit about a year and a half ago in the Pacific Northwest to be near family. In that time frame, I've had a lot of conversations with people about retirement, both planning for it and living in it. And over and over again, there are five things that keep coming up in conversation that I just believe are myths. And I wanna put a stop to them now. First, let me start with number five. Myth number five is that retirement is the beginning of the end. Now, okay, sure, it could be, but only if you make it that way. Really, the only thing that's ending is that you have to get up and go to work every day. That's it. Everything else is totally up to you. If this is something that comes to mind for you about retirement, it's time to reframe it. Think about it in two different ways. The first way being the 60,000 foot view about what your entire life looks like and the big things that you want to do or the goals that you have. The other way to look at it is from a very minute day-to-day -day perspective. What is your perfect day? What's the first thing that happens when you get up in the morning? Whatever it is, craft that perfect day for yourself and figure out how to do that as much as possible every single day. It is not the beginning of the end. It's actually the beginning of a new beginning but it's up to you to think about it that way. Myth number four, retiring means you have to slow down. Now, first of all, there's nothing wrong with slowing down, nothing at all. Our world, especially in the US, we glorify the hustle culture, we glorify busy, we gauge success on how busy people are. And that's just dysfunctional, if you ask me. However, if being busy is your natural state, if it's something that you really enjoy being, you want to be moving around all the time, you can still do that. You can do whatever you want to do. You just don't have to work to do it. And I'll tell you what, you will be amazed at how fast every day goes when you're actually doing what you want to do versus what you have to do. And it's not just about filling up time aimlessly. When you really dig into how you want to spend your time and what you want to be doing, you can fill your days so much that you actually decide, wait a minute, I'm too busy in retirement. I do want to slow down a little bit. And again, there is some real joy and some real benefits to slowing down anyway, even if it's just a little bit. Don't fall down. It's getting hot. Myth number three. Asking for senior discounts will either make you feel old or make you look old. Now, really, if you ask me, whew, <laughs> if you ask me, 
that's just a shame pattern playing in your head and we need to talk about that too. Taking advantage of senior discounts only means that you're gonna get something you were already gonna buy cheaper than you would have anyway. Now, if you retire really early, like 35, 45, there are some people doing that, which is fantastic, but you're not gonna get those senior discounts just because you're retired, obviously, or maybe not obviously, but you're not. Usually the senior discounts start kicking in somewhere between 55 and 65, depending on the place that you're shopping or the services that you're looking for. It takes a little research to know about it ahead of time, but you also can always ask, hey, do you have any senior discounts available? What's the worst that can happen? They say no. And actually, I've had this happen to me. They say, yes, but I'm gonna need to see some ID. Brilliant, getting carded because they don't believe that you're 55 yet. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's way better than getting carded because they don't believe you're 21 yet. It may only save you a few bucks here and there, but believe me, it adds up. And why in the world would you pay more money for something than you have to? Just ask. I'm gonna put a few examples of some really good senior discounts in the description. And no, it doesn't mean you're old. It means you're saving money, that's all. And if you're interested in other ways that you can maximize discounts and other money-saving strategies in retirement, let me know and I'll make another video on those. Okay. Myth number two, we're getting there. Being retired means you're old. So first of all, there are a whole bunch of people, not the majority, but a good growing number of people who are retiring much sooner than in their 60s or 70s. It's called the FIRE movement, which stands for financial independence, retire early. And we now see people working really, really hard uh, for better or worse and for a number of years and then retiring when they're 35, 40, 45. And also being old, according to who? The average age of retirement in the US is somewhere between, I think 65, I'm sorry, 62 and 65. I'll try to find some of the research that I've looked at and, and put it in the, the description below. But 62 to 65, that's not old. It's not, <laughs> it just isn't. And if you think it's old, I really hope that you take a look at where you're getting those messages. Are you getting them from the media? Are you getting them from the, your family? You know, really consider where you're getting the message that 62 or 65 is old. If you think you're seeing it in the media, you know, fill your, your Instagram feed or your Facebook feed or whatever feed it is that you, that you look at, YouTube videos, fill it with age positive creators and, and accounts because you'll find that as soon as you start really seeing what 60, 62, 65, 70 can really look like, it's not old, it just isn't. Really challenge those mindsets, those voices in your head that tells you, ah, you can't do that because that's gonna mean you're old. First of all, what's wrong with old? The, the alternative to old is dead. So I don't know, I'm kind of looking forward to old and not dead. And if that's what's holding you back, if that's really all that's holding you back from retiring, you're doing yourself a disservice, you can totally fix that. Okay, we're coming up on the number one myth, the one that really drives me crazy. I think I got bit, ouch. The one that really gets my goat. You ready for it? Here it comes. Okay, you ready for number one? The number one biggest myth, in my opinion, about retirement that drives me absolutely nuts is the myth that retirement is boring. Just gonna take a moment here. If you find that you're bored in retirement, 
you need to take a look in the mirror because I'll tell you what, boredom is a choice. Now, some people admittedly are a lot less apt to be bored than others. I personally, I know I find it very difficult to even understand the concept of boredom. I don't think I have ever been bored in my life. I, I really, I really don't. That might sound silly, but I really don't. And so I've done a little bit of reading on it and thinking about it. I really believe that there are three things that are the antidotes for boredom. One is curiosity, one is desire, and the other is living in the moment. Being curious about anything and everything will take care of boredom so fast you won't even know what to do. The second thing is desire. When you pursue things that you want, whether it's a meal that you re have really enjoyed somewhere that you wanna be able to recreate, or a trip that you wanna go on that needs planning, or you, know, you need to save money, or make a little bit of extra money to be able to afford it, or whatever it is that you desire, taking steps to achieve that thing that you desire is gonna help with boredom. And the third thing is living in the moment. There's a reason why people who retire, by and large, tend to get really interested in birds. When you take the time, when you have the time to sit and watch birds, they are really interesting. And that's just one example. But when you are living in the moment, and I know that can be, that's become really cliche, but, it, but it's so true. When you are living in the moment and noticing things around you, it's really hard to be bored, honestly. And I think the reason why this one retirement myth really, really gets to me is that I feel like the time affluence that I have enjoyed in retirement is the biggest gift that I've ever been given. It is such a beautiful thing, in part because I do like to slow down a little bit. I do have a very curious mind. I don't feel old. Any of those other myths, I just don't. And so I've been really lucky in that way. And I'm hoping that breaking these things down for you and talking about them a little bit has been helpful for you and take a minute and think about which of these myths you subscribe to or that you believed and let me know in the comments below if if this has helped you in any way or actually what I would really love too is if you have any other myths about retirement that you believe to be false that I missed here drop those in the comments below too so that we can learn from each other and have a conversation and here's a pro tip. When you retire, make sure that you have good friends who have beautiful pools in sunny places that will let you come and just hang out. <laughs> and I swear to God, I swear to you, I promise you, retirement is not boring. Not if you don't make it that way. Not if you don't want it to be that way. Boredom is a choice. Choose to not be bored. Choose to not be stressed out. Choose to spend the rest of the years of your life your way. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining.